guys, Gary Box here. Pardon me for hobbling around a little bit, but I kind of injured my foot, so we're going to do this in a booth. I want to talk about light stands today. This is the Godox 240FS, and this is a great stand, and the stand I prefer, and I want to talk about why. First of all, let's talk about other types of light stands and what their problem is. First of all, we have the classic C-stand. Well, C-stands are not very stable unless you put sandbags on them, first of all. They do go up really which is nice, but they don't go down very low is a problem. Now, you can use the boom and put your light down low, but it's really kind of awkward to maneuver it and work it around. Uh, for a low angle light, if you're photographing children or a lay down shot or something where you want your light lower, I think a C-stand is virtually worthless. So, C-stands, not my favorite. Not really sure why so many people are gaga over C-stands. The second kind is your classic light stand, which is very slow to work with because you have multiple sections that you have to go up and down, up and down. So it's a little bit on the slow speed. If you've ever watched me work, I work super, super fast. So this might be okay for location, but it's really not ideal in the studio either. So that's why I love this type of stand. It comes on casters, it does have brakes. You have a handle, and all you do is squeeze the handle and you raise it up and it locks. Squeeze the handle, lower it down, and it locks. So you can go in one second from this high to this high so easily. And that's why I love it. Now, it comes with two different mounts. It comes with one mount right here that allows you to use this also as a lightweight camera stand. Now, I have bigger, heavier camera stands in the studio, but this is a great lightweight one. Um, you can take and put a tripod head on the top of this and just screw it on. There are three little Allen wrench uh, uh, nuts on it. You're going to want to tighten those down so that this doesn't unscrew. So, you can turn it into a camera stand. Or, if you want to use it as a light stand, instead, it comes with this little brass stud. Now, this stud has a flat side on one side, and this is really, really handy because when you put it in, you want to put the flat stud right where you tighten the screw down, and that keeps it from twisting. A lot of times, if you put a light stand outside in the wind, the wind catches it, starts turning it, it cannot turn with this flat side. So if you have light stands that don't have that, it's real easy to take a file and flatten it down and then your light stands won't twist. But now we've turned it into a light stand. So we can take our light and place our light directly on the 5 8 inch stud. And there we go. Now we have a light stand that we can go up and down incredibly fast and easy. So that's why I love this stand, but to make it even better, what's really cool, if you have two of these, you can take the grip off of the other one, and you can put two lights onto one stand. This allows me to use clamshell lighting whenever I'm photographing just like this. It's great because your center column is offset, so you can shoot right in between these two lights perfectly and still adjust their height individually and it makes the perfect clamshell lighting setup. Otherwise, you're probably going to have to set up a boom for your top light and then set up another light stand for your bottom light. And trust me, this is so much easier to be able to do. So, that's what I wanted to show you. Why I think this is the best light stand in the studio. Uh, they do work on location as well. This eight foot column does come apart in the center into two four foot sections. So if you want to take it in location, it's easy to pack inside even a smaller car. The legs to it also fold up. If we pull this out, we can fold the legs up just like that and then fold them back down and they lock. So it is pretty easy to move this around and take it on location as well. So the 240 FS by Godox, a great stand. I get it from Molite, which is my favorite Godox dealer. I'll put a link down in the bottom for you guys to click on, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah.